window, underscore tabula equals window, underscore tabula, underscore tabula, push mode, thumbnail C, container, tabula interstitial gallery thumbnails 5, placement, interstitial gallery thumbnails 5, target underscore type, mix, underscore tabula, push flush, true, window, underscore tabula equals window, underscore tabula, underscore tabula, push mode, thumbnail C, container, tabula interstitial gallery thumbnails 7, placement, interstitial gallery thumbnails 7, target underscore type, mix, underscore tabula, push flush, true. Photo, Molly Glenzer, Houston Chronicle, Second Wives, consisting of 11 antique irons and wired metal flowers with crystals on a steel table, is among the works in Karen Broker's show, Love Me, Love Me Not, at McLean Gallery. Second Wives, consisting of 11 antique irons and wired metal flowers with crystals on a steel table, is among the works in Karen Broker's show, Love Me, Love Me Not, at McLean Gallery. Photo, Molly Glenzer, Houston Chronicle A detail of one of the large, multi-layered works on paper utilizing silver point ground found letters and screen printing in Karen Broker's show, Love Me, Love Me Not, at McLean Gallery. Detail of one of the large, multi-layered works on paper utilizing silver point ground found letters and screen printing in Karen Broker's show, Love Me, Love Me Not, at McLean Gallery. Photo, Molly Glenzer, Houston Chronicle A detail of one of the large, multi-layered works on paper utilizing silver point ground found letters and screen printing in Karen Broker's show, Love Me, Love Me Not, at McLean Gallery. A detail of one of the large, multi-layered works on paper utilizing silver point ground found letters and screen printing in Karen Broker's show, Love Me, Love Me Not, at McLean Gallery. Photo, Molly Glenzer, Houston Chronicle Karen Broker's show, Love Me, Love Me Not, incorporates vintage metal flowers and wired metal with crystals along with numerous other pretty vintage objects, steel and large works on paper. Karen Broker's show, Love Me, Love Me Not, incorporates vintage metal flowers and wired metal with crystals along with numerous other pretty vintage objects, steel and large works on paper. Photo, courtesy of the artist, McLean Gallery A suite of the large works on paper hang with the table and chairs, all made by the artist, in Karen Broker's show, Love Me, Love Me Not, at McLean Gallery A suite of the large works on paper hang with the table and chairs, all made by the artist, in Karen Broker's show. Love Me, Love Me Not, at McLean Gallery Photo, Molly Glenzer, Houston Chronicle Art Day Book, Karen Broker presses history into a pretty show with a steely theme the piece, Second Wives. The artist, Karen Broker Ware, McLean Gallery, through June 23rd Why, a domestic goddess with an iron will sometimes has to steal herself in a world dominated by men. Some of the antique objects in Broker's fifth show at McLean Gallery are more than metaphors, they're puns. Second Wives, in particular, made me smile. It's a huge piece, a steel table topped with 11 antique irons, each a solid, heavy black base from which a single, colorful but also slightly distressed flower sprouts. These heavyweight pressing tools, which were hot to handle, are known in the antiques industry as sad irons, utilizing an old English word for solid. But, of course, they have a kind of sad history, too, a physical embodiment of centuries of unheralded labor that traditionally fell to women. Tiny crystal beads adorned the tangles of braided gold wire woven up through the flowers. Similar wires appear in many of the other sculptures within the show, a gesture that creates an unabashedly pretty sparkle. But look closely, the wires have jagged, sharp bits, like thorns. And all of Broker's sculptural assemblages incorporate hard, unyielding materials, steel furniture, a cast iron urn, a revolver and the glass domes under which she often displays tabletop pieces. Large works on paper, in soft brown and cream tones, provide balance and fill the walls with Broker's signature layered bouquet imagery. Included are 11 large collages that appropriate a trove of World War II-era love letters Broker acquired, written by a man named Johnny to his darling Kay back home. Cutting them up, Broker kept thinking about notions of the happily ever after, and how Johnny was concealing all he must have been seeing on the battlefields. She also mined other histories about brutal acts against women and remarkable, overlooked female figures. Some of that found its way into the beautifully layered works on paper, which show Broker's deft hand with printing techniques. A longtime professor, she oversees the printing studio at Rice University. Another table is set with copies of the limited edition artist book broker compiled during the four years it took to build the show. Her labor of love may look nostalgic on the surface, but she's no pushover. Molly.glancer at cron.com.